So you've been tasked with making an organizational chart or org chart. Where do you start? Where do you begin? What tools do you use? We're gonna cover all that in this video and then some. So we're gonna look at Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, Visio, Draw.io, and some new and robust AI tools that are out there to help you make org charts. So if you're interested in, in something like that, then stick around, see you after the jump. All right, so to start us off, uh, I'm gonna just create an Excel file and we're gonna create a org structure um, simply in Excel. We're just gonna do an example and build one by hand, which is definitely not uh, the way that we wanna do it, but just wanna show you that you can. So let's just open a blank Excel file, get some example uh, roles and uh, reports twos in here and let's jump ahead quickly and get that in there okay that looks good we'll go to the insert tab on the top you'll see smart art um, and this is in powerpoint and excel and you can see there's lots of different things you can choose from if we choose hierarchy from that list uh, there's a lot of org chart types that you can select uh, some include photos um, some are just a, a bit leaner than others but i think this traditional organization chart um, is very typical and so you can insert that in here and um, there's lots of options on the top pane for formatting this for changing the type on the fly layouts um, you can add additional shapes you can move up and down the hierarchy etc if you click on text pane um, you'll see a bullet point list, and if you modify this list, the smart art will automatically update. So you can manually put in names as you see fit and build out a simple org structure. So I'll change the color really quickly in the smart art design panel, and then I'll just uh, add in some names here, just very, very high level examples, just to show you how to manually do it, although this is not the best way to do it. So a better way to do this is create a bullet point structure in something like Microsoft Word where you can indent to um, you know, indicate hierarchy and then copy and paste that into Excel. So if we go back to hierarchy, click OK. All we have to do is just remove that, control V, paste, and you know we have the right hierarchy already in place. Uh, and this is beautiful. And after this is made, you can go to the smart art design uh, panel on top. You can make it look pretty, uh, make it look, you know, however you want to. And then you can also change chart type on the left and also change colors and uh, promote and demote people um, with the selection menu on the left as well. So I'm just looking through here at the various options. Um, again, some of these styles are a bit more lean than others. Um, so definitely pick the um, right visual uh, representation for um, your situation. If you choose the visual with photos, um, all you have to do is double click on the photo and you can upload your own photo or choose uh, uh, clip art if you'd like. Um, you can copy and paste it from Excel into PowerPoint as needed. And if you double click on it as well, um, you'll get the same smart art design features that you had in Excel. Um, so again, you can promote, demote people, change colors um, as you see fit, and then uh, make it look good and fit into a PowerPoint presentation. So with this as well, um, if you look at the control menu on the top left of the screen in the smart art tab, um, you can promote and demote people. Um, you can do this with your keyboard as well. If, you're, if you clicked on someone, you can do alt shift up or down to promote demote folks. Um, so there are, are like hotkeys to do this. Um, you can also change the layout up here at the top and um, move things around as needed. If you want to do a dotted line, um, remember that that is a manual process you have to do outside of this. So now we're going to look at Office 365 uh, Visio Online to make a org chart. And uh, I'm going to click uh, Hide Templates because I don't see the org chart template. I'm going to hit the little drop down arrow here on New Blank Drawing and go to Templates. And now you have this large selection of templates in Visio Online. And if we look through here, uh, we're going to see popular diagrams, basic diagrams, flow chart, functional flow chart, which is like a Sumlam diagram. And then we're going to see organizational chart here. Um, and you can see different uh, like examples. So they have like university org chart and stuff. So if you want to see just some examples of org charts that you can create in Visio Online, um, I think these are great to learn from. Um, but there's also just a blank template on the left and uh, we'll go with that. 
Once you've created a new drawing here for organizational chart, um, you're gonna see all of your org chart options here on the left. Um, so you can bring in different uh, you know, uh, types. You can bring in an executive, manager, assistant, consultant, staff, etc. And there's uh, different uh, styles as well, such as ba badge, pin board, um, and, you know, metal. I'll bring in a few here so you can see them. Uh, some are a bit basic, uh, some more are more robust maybe. Um, and so depending on what you want your org chart to look like, how much information you have, um, definitely choose what's appropriate for you. Um, but basically what we can do is just drag a bunch of random stuff out here. Um, so let's start with that. And connecting these things is pretty easy. You hover over the badge um, or the employee and then just click and drag and it will automatically drag an arrow. And then there's basically one little green point that, that pops up when you hover over um, any of these badges and then you can pull the line to connect each of these personnel in your org chart. So if we go to the org chart tab on top and go to layouts, um, if you click on a different layout, it will automatically sort your org chart um, per the layout you, you've chosen. So you don't really need to worry about, you know, getting the badges or the personnel in the right spot on the page. Um, just make sure that the connections are correct and then just choose layout and pick one that's appropriate for you. You can also choose theme colors um, to you know, make your org chart more vibrant as you need. And um, you can also resize and add dotted line connectors. All that is included in this. And you can download it as an image, a PDF, or a copy of the Visio file. Um, so with your Office 365 subscription, you may not have a Visio desktop. So just make sure um, if you have it or not before uh, downloading the Visio file. So this next method utilizes a Visio plugin with Microsoft Excel. So if we go to insert, click my add-ins or click get add-in. Um, you're going to want to search for this Microsoft Visio. So if you click on the store here, just uh, go to the search and type in Visio. And there is a, a huge number of cool plugins that you can use. Um, and the Microsoft Visio data visualizer is what you're looking for. Um, yes, it's only two stars. Uh, because it's not necessarily the best for some folks, but this is my favorite way of making org charts. And you can sign in to your Microsoft 365 account if you'd like. You can also continue without signing in um, to use this within Excel. And uh, it's going to give you some options. You can do flow charts, uh, swim lane diagrams, and org charts with this. And I usually choose quick start. And if I select that, it will automatically place the format um, in a table format um, that it's looking for to build out an org chart. So you can expand it, uh, make it smaller as you need to. And basically like everyone has an employee ID, their name, title, who they report to, which is their manager ID, and then their role type. And if you fill all this information in, it will uh, automatically update once you hit the refresh button in the Visio plugin. So we've just put in some random titles and names and manager IDs here and hit the refresh button. And once our Visio uh, org chart is done, we can actually upload this into Visio for the web by logging into our Microsoft account and we can edit it there. So in the end, we're really making dynamic org charts in Excel that automatically update as we change personnel, uh, manager IDs, etc. cetera. Um, but if you're doing company research, um, a really useful tool um, AI tool that you can use is ChatGPT. And what if we can train ChatGPT to um, give us an org structure um, in this format so we can easily copy and paste it into Excel? Um, well, it can do that. So let's take an example and do that now. So I'm going to explain to ChatGPT the column setup that I have in Excel, uh, employee ID, name, title, ID, role type. And then I'm going to tell it, hey, let's look at the Apple leadership. And I'm gonna either copy and paste this page or the link to ChatGPT. Um, and depending on <laughs> timing of this video, um, it may be able to read from the link, it may not be able to read from the link, um, but I'm gonna try to give it the link. And I'm gonna say, all right, pull the info from Apple Leadership and put it in this column format so I can just easily copy and paste it into Excel. And it's gonna tell me it can't really do that, but it knows the leadership anyway. So it's gonna give me um, everything I wanted in the correct format. But uh, what I need to do is just, you know, do control A on the page, select everything, copy it, put it in a chat GPT and say, okay, here's the info you need and train this model um, so it can give me what I want. But um, let's just do this example here. And basically we can copy and paste this and put it in Excel. And so we're simply gonna uh, paste the values in our uh, table here. We're gonna hit the refresh button 
And as you can see, it correctly set up the org structure from CEO Tim Apple to everyone that's under him and the Apple organization. And so this is really great um, if you're doing some company research, maybe you're on Crunchbase or just looking into leadership teams at companies. Uh, this is an easy way to create an org chart and export um, to visualize it, maybe in a PowerPoint presentation or something like that. As a side note, I did copy and paste the page and it understood the assignment and gave me the correct uh, org chart with all the right people in place. So I said that the Visio plugin in Excel was my favorite way to make dynamic, you know, organizational charts, um, easy to do. But if I want somewhat of an interactive org chart, uh, I definitely use draw.io. And it, this is basically a free flowchart and diagram program. It's all uh, working in the cloud, so you don't need to download anything, although you can download um, draw.io on your computer. And what I wanna do is click File and New, and I wanna look around at the different templates they have, um, but they do have organizational chart templates um, under Charts, and you'll see different examples of org charts that you can build here, um, and we can take a look at one. And I think draw.io is great for um, exporting a HTML file of an org chart, um, which kind of makes it interactive, so to speak. You can basically roll up, roll down um, your organizations and interact with it um, in a HTML environment. You can also do PDFs here and PNGs. So if you're just wanting a photo of your org chart, you can do that as well. Um, if you're in draw.io and you type in org chart in the search, there is a org chart tool that you can simply just drag and drop into your environment. And with this, um, there's several things you can do. If you hover over a block, uh, some blue arrows will show up and you can just click up, down, left, right, and you can start you know, plotting your organizational structure um, as you need to. You can also um, click on any of your boxes, change the box color in the style pane. And when you change the color, it actually keeps that color across the organization. So if you want engineering to be blue, um, uh, you know, finance to be green, etc., you can color code your org chart as you need to. Another beautiful thing about draw.io is there's a style tab on the right and you can change the color, you can make it rounded. You can also do a cool like sketch uh, style uh, org chart, which is kind of neat if you're just doing some brainstorming activities or something like that. Um, so there's lots of really cool tools uh, to make your org chart visually appealing. So I wanted to do a bite-sized segment on just some org structure theory, um, why there are different types of structures in different companies. And the Project Management Institute is just a great resource for understanding these different types of organizations. And there's a lot of discussion research papers on you know, how organizations uh, have become successful just around um, sorting out their organizational structure. And I want to start us out with a video from Steve Jobs uh, explaining the org structure of Apple. One of the keys to Apple is Apple's an incredibly collaborative company. You know how many committees we have at Apple? No. Zero. We have no committees. No committees. We are, a ver we are organized like a startup. One person's in charge of iPhone OS software. One person's in charge of Mac hardware. One person's in charge of iPhone hardware engineering. Another person's in charge of Worldwide marketing. Another person's in charge of operations. It's, we're organized like a startup. We're the biggest startup on the planet. And we all meet for three hours once a week, and we talk about everything we're doing, the whole business. And there's tremendous teamwork at the top of the company, which filters down to tremendous teamwork throughout the company. And teamwork is dependent on trusting the other folks to come through with their part without watching them all the time, but trusting that they're going to come through with their parts. And that's what we do really well. And we're great at figuring out how to divide things up into these great teams that we have and all work on the same thing, touch bases frequently, and bring it all together into a product. We do that really well. I think it's a great video explaining why Steve Jobs, you know, organizes his company the way he did. Um, really, it's a hierarchical structure with product-based grouping, um, and it's really helped them be successful with their products. So, you know, if, if you're a product owner, 
for uh, something like an iPhone, right? You're gonna be in a different group than maybe a different product like your Apple Watch. Um, but the organizational structure has really benefited them um, by taking the time to develop a strategy and design around it. So again, you know, organizational structure or project organization, it's about aligning your team members, minimizing disruptions and conflicts, and maximizing productivity in your organization, right? Um, so you want to ensure efficient execution with your teams, you know, again, facilitating communication, um, bottom up, top down, and even left to right, you know, you want collaboration between groups, um, and you want to manage your stakeholders well within your organization and reduce risks. And that's what creating org charts are all about. So again, this is bite sized So I'm going to quickly just explain just some of the various types that you're going to see out in industry. So I want to quickly summarize uh, four different types of structures, and uh, I stole this from Four Week MBA. It was a great overview of structures and uh, even points out different structures at different companies, which I liked. Um, but I'm going to start with functional organizational structure. Um, this organizes employees based on uh, specialized functions or departments, such as engineering, finance, marketing, operations, HR, etc. Um, there's a clear hierarchical structure here with function heads and our managers overseeing those specific areas. Um, so it promotes expertise and knowledge uh, within each function. Um, it enhances efficiency and coordination within functional units and uh, can result in silos and limited cross-functional collaboration. So you'll see there's a lot of uh, bottom-up, top-down communication, but not a lot of left or right. Um, so stuff to think about when you're looking at organizations. Um, the second one here is divisional. Um, this is groups. Um, of employees uh, based on specific products, geographic locations, or customer segments. Um, so the divisions operate in a semi-autonomous unit um, and they have their own functional departments. So each division has its own resources, decision-making authority, etc. And this allows for better focus and customization within each division. And uh, one thing can happen here is it can lead to duplication of functions across the divisions and you know there's definitely going to be coordination challenges between divisions here um, so that would have to be overcome uh, with an organization such as this. The third is a uh, matrix organizational structure. Um, this combines the functional and divisional structures by overlaying two or more chains of command. Um, so employees report both to a functional manager and probably a project manager or, or product manager, right? Uh, it enhances the cross-functional collaboration and flexibility here, so you get that left-to-right communication. and enables efficient resource utilization and expertise sharing within each uh, division there. Um, you can create uh, role ambiguity here. Uh, you can create conflicts, complexities, and reporting relationships because, you know, who, who, am, who am I reporting to? Um, you know, my manager says this, but my PM says to do this for a project. So there could be some, uh, you know, issues with prioritization in a structure such as this. The fourth organization is a flat organizational structure. Uh, there's few or no hierarchical levels between employees and top management. Um, it really encourages decentralized decision making and employee empowerment here promotes open communication and quick decision making. Um, you know, if you're thinking agile, um, this isn't necessarily that, but um, you're getting there. Um, and it can lead to really blurred lines of authority here, you know, limited career advancement, potential issues with coordination and control. And uh, you really see this in smaller organizations, some startups, um, it depends on the strategy um, with that org. So I'm going to stop there on org structures, um, but definitely look at 4-Week MBA. I'm going to put a link in the description below um, and also going to uh, just point out this book called Team Topologies. Uh, this was a great read um, about organizational structures in, in tech companies and uh, really has some uh, new age uh, lines of thinking here around agile and, you know, developing teams to be efficient. So I'll leave this here as well. There are free infographics on their website, uh, free, free backgrounds as well. Um, but definitely, uh, if you're looking for a new book to purchase, uh, this one's really good uh, about organizational structures. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, if you do, please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, it helps us. And um, as always, uh, get out there and make it happen, folks. Thank you.